Hey everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. This is normally a electronics type video, but I'm using this to save me time in my daily work. This is a Sabrent um, USB 3.0 SATA dual docking station and hard drive cloning device. Now I'm using this um, actually there's a couple things you can do with these which is awesome you can use this for a backup of your data so if anybody that has computers photos videos anything you have at home that you cherish and value on your computer you can back up using a USB cable to your external hard drives this is a docking station so you just literally pop out a hard drive and pop it in. I'll put my camera on the tripod in a minute and show you how it works. You can have these uh, mirrored. So you have one external backup copy of everything and then mirror it over and you have another backup copy for safekeeping. That way you never lose data again. Or what I'm doing, I've got uh, cryptocurrency mining rigs running in my house right now mostly on solar power it's uh, during the day it's sunny and warm and nice so uh, I've got them running and I clone the hard drive so I don't have to it takes me hours uh, up to half a day with my slow internet to get one of these machines running to get all the software installed and get one running this is one I'm working on so it only has three cards but it takes me hours to install all the software and literally like half a day because my internet is really slow so I finally get a there's the one I'm, I just finished I finally got a hard drive installed and I spent all the time and I got it done right got it fully working and functioning got the computer running pulled out the hard drive cloned it popped it in here and now it's running. That's a clone mining uh, cryptocurrency. But no matter what you're doing with your computer, you should have a backup of some type. And your home computer, you can clone the hard drive and have a backup. So if your hard drive fails, you just pop it out and pop in a new one. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm setting up backups. So if my main hard drive fails, my in this case my main mining computer hard drive, but your home computer or whatever, you have a spare on hand. Like this one here is going on a shelf with a label on it, and it's going to just sit there as a spare, waiting. Hopefully, I won't need it anytime soon, but it'll be there if I need it. So if the original hard drive in, a, in a, one of these machines fails, I pop it out, pop in a clone, and run the computer as if it never happened. That's awesome. So I'll show you how this works here. Let me set the camera on a tripod. And it's really simple and awesome. Now, right now, let me ground myself out. Right now the power's off, but essentially, you've got your hard drives. There's your docking station with nothing in it. Right now I have it plugged into the power outlet in the wall, and there's your USB power. You could have it, use it as a backup from your computer, and just constantly be backing up your data externally all the time then if you want a second backup you can clone it it's there's a, so many uses for this it's amazing right now I just have it plugged into the wall and uh, then you take your hard drive your first hard drive or if you're only using one either way you can use one hard drive or two or you can clone hard drives uh, and you pop it right in there and push it carefully and firmly and now you can hook that up to your computer and run backups and have a copy of everything externally and what's great is it's easy to remove so if you want to pop in another one and go ahead now in this case I'm going to clone another hard drive so this is the source and there's slot A and B they're labeled here so I'm going to put the second hard drive in just carefully and firmly don't use force just make sure it's in there and then I'm going to turn on the power and I wait for the lights to come on and let me know it's all good. Um, two, there should be a power button uh, LED and two blue ones showing both drives are in. If 
there was only dr one drive, it would show only one blue LED to show which one is in. Now, I'm going to start cloning. So I'm going to hold the clone button for a couple seconds until the light blinks, and then I'm going to take my release my thumb and hit it again. Watch. It's about four or five seconds. Light blinks. Hit it again. Now we're cloning. Now it's copying this hard drive onto this hard drive. It's going to make a mirror image of everything on here and I can literally take this which was blank a minute ago I'll be able to literally take this and put it into my computer and turn it on as if as if it was the original hard drive. It's amazing. I'm really excited. I wish I had this many years ago. I would have never suffered um, with so many dead hard drives through the years. I would have never had to worry about reinstalling software and reinstalling my computer. Never again with this device. I'm really excited. I bought this myself with my own money to use here at the off-grid homestead for backing up my data because I'm changing all my computers around and uh, I'm also mining cryptocurrency um, with the sun by day but with power by night but I wanted to share this with you because it's so awesome we'll come back in a while it, it could take a while it could take an hour or so depending on how big your hard drives are um, the clone drive always has to be the same size or larger than the source drive keep that in mind so you can't have a smaller drive here it always has to be the same size or larger and then you can clone straight up really cool well we'll let that run and we'll come back later the process is going on 75 percent complete the, the lights will blink in sequence as the progress is uh, completed so 25 percent 50 75 100 percent the last LED light here will start blinking as it nears a hundred percent when all the lights are on and stay on then we're done well almost there all the lights are steady and on the copy is complete there's no difference between this drive and this drive now so the next thing you do is shut the power off give them a few seconds to wind down you don't want to move them when the motors are, are spinning you could cause head damage so give them a few seconds and then pull out your cloned drive label it and set it aside which is what I'm going to do this one stays in here for the next job I'm going to copy that yet again and I'll have a mess of hard drives on hand so you can go ahead and check the link below and get your own I if really I think anybody and everybody with a computer should have something like this at home to back up their important data and back up their computer hard drive well thanks for watching guys please like subscribe and share and hit that bell icon get notifications of future uploads Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project a really cool device that I think everybody should have at home if you got a computer you should have one talk to you later